Hi guys, Heather here. So some of you were asking what my patient brain looks like and you know to be honest I'm not really sure because it's like covered with all this skull and hair and oh wait wait this brain oh yeah I almost forgot I did write it out but there's a lot of different ways to do it like when I first started nursing I would just copy my preceptor like she would write down lungs abdomen edema pain nausea and heart and then just chart like what you hear and see about those patients and so I did that for my first year in nursing and then when I went to a different hospital you know everyone kind of made fun of me for doing that no I'm just kidding so some hospitals have like PSRs which are patient status reports and they have everything printed out on like five pages you know information about the patient history vitals to procedures to everything that's going on with them and sometimes you know you don't need all that information but you can just highlight you know like what you need to know the important stuff but what I kind of learned to do was I just kind of you know cause this hospital that I went to they didn't have you know those printed out patient information things so I just got my own piece of paper here I developed my own system so at the top I have the doctor Dr. Papa John's with onions pineapple and spicy sausage wait I'm not ordering pizza okay Dr. Papa John, patient 83 years old, allergies, code status, CHF diagnosis, history, blah, blah, blah. And then you have your IV fluids, your procedures, your drains, wounds, PCA, which is like a patient controlled pain pump thingy. Um, and then if you have any procedures, your to do list, I put a little checkbox and then mark it off when I'm done. So I have laundry, eat breakfast, workout, take a shower. Wait, that's my list. Uh, UA stop IV fluids when it's done check it off and then down here the abnormals like lungs heart edema anything abnormal you hear you want to write it down because you don't want to mix up your patient information and I also put the times that my meds are due 9 12 1300 1600 1800 and then I cross it out when I'm done with it just so I know what time to give meds for this patient so you can just kind of make up your own you know whatever you feel comfortable with as long as all the important information is down. Well guys, that was just kind of a quick overview of my brain, but you can do whatever you want. So thanks for watching and have a good day, okay? Talk to you soon. Bye.